Murray and Mahaney. And this week's gym stick tip is going to require some balance, inner thigh work, and there's going to be an incorporation of abdominals as well as upper body. Mm, it's like a multivitamin, it's a bit of everything. So you're going to need to add quite a bit of tension on to begin with. And that's because we're going to start with a balance move. We'll lift up one leg off the floor. In this case, it's my right leg. And I'm going to take that leg across the body in a sweeping action. So driving the heel over, keeping the toe turned out. You'll see that I'm actually balanced on my opposite foot. So I'm not letting my right foot touch the floor. The other little thing that I also recommend here too, is hold the stick away from your body. If you have the stick on your body, as you move the leg, it's going to challenge your balance a little bit more. But when you hold the stick out, firstly, the stick's not in the way, but you're going to engage the upper body a little bit more, and that's great, yeah? So, foot out, heel goes across, driving the heel over. If you're a gym stick muscle instructor, look for this potential error, where people drive across with their toe, or they start well, but then turn their toe in. They're going just a little too far for them at this point because their they're inner thighs or adductors are not strong enough. So get them to keep their toe turned out or at least forwards and just go as far as they feel comfortable. So we do this for 30 seconds and that's around about 16 repetitions or you can set the timer on your phone or buy the music from powermusic.com. Yes, we have gymnastic music with timings and countdowns and it just takes the stress out of looking at your phone the entire time or your watch to see how long you've been going for. You won't have to count repetitions. Awesome. And you've got music to listen to that makes it interesting. Powermusic.com is where you want to go. So after we've done our 30 seconds along with the music, we're going to add an upright row. Now, once we add this movement pattern, you'll find that the exercise intensifies a little bit more. You'll also Make sure that you keep your elbows above the gym stick as you pull the stick up towards the middle of your chest. A common error, gym stick instructors, is this. So if you're an instructor, watch for this movement pattern. I'm finding it's happening more and more often. I'm not sure why um, people don't pull up with their shoulders, which clearly is a much stronger muscle than their wrist um, or the muscles in their forearms but it's, it's becoming more um, common. So check that people are lifting up with their elbows. And if you've got mirrors, encourage them to look in the mirror to make sure that their elbows are level or even on both sides as well. So we do 30 seconds of this or 16 repetitions. Again, balancing, yeah? Use a big toe on this foot to press firmly into the floor, that's going to help. Also find a spot to look at and keeping your attention there also assist with improving balance if it's a little bit wobbly. Our final exercise is a ripper, check it out. We're going to pull it in, hold the stick there, elbows go under, press the stick up, I've got the foot still across my body, come back down, elbows up and then finally release the leg. So here, under, up, down and over. So pull up, press, down and over. Yeah, there's a bit of coordination involved in this. The balance is definitely a little bit more. And now I've got more upper body work and you'll feel this in your abdominals so much. This is such a great exercise. So we do eight repetitions of that or 30 seconds. You just follow the music. It's easier that way. And then we have a 20 second break. Oh. And then we we'll repeat the entire exercise again on the opposite side. So starting out with the Stick out in front, again, driving across with the heel. This leg's a little fatigued because I was using it to stand on. So the leg that you're standing on is also working, not just the leg that you're moving. And we repeat the same three exercises again in what we call the gymstick trios. So trios is something that's unique to gymstick. We do three exercises that progressively become more demanding, 30 seconds each, and then we just repeat. And then we go on to another three. I love the gym stick workout because everything's so different and so stimulating. I have no time to get bored. So if you're a person that would like to become a gym stick instructor, just contact me either through my website, marianamahani.com, or my email, marianna.mahani at gymstick.com. I work for Gym Stick International as an education coordinator, and I can help you with either sourcing out where you can go to a training or organising one for you. 
And that's this week's Gymstick Tip.